Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. I had so much fun creating my own spin of one of Jaclyn Hill's looks that I just couldn't help myself. I had to recreate this one as well. This is my second favorite look that Lipstick Nick created on Jaclyn Hill's face for Jaclyn Hill's volume two launch. Quickly, if you are not yet subscribed, make sure you subscribe and also click that bell button. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I feel like I bring up quite a few videos that are coming up in this video. So be sure that you're subscribed and that your bell is rung. This way you get that notification and you don't miss out on anything. To prime my lids today, I used something a little bit different. I used the MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is my first time using it. And I know that if the shadows don't perform to the best of their ability, then it is most likely that because I've never used this before and I have used this Jaclyn Hill palette before. If you did not see my first video on this palette, I will link it up here as well as down below. Be sure to check that one out. The shade Love Handles. And I'm not gonna tap off the excess. If you want the pigment to really be there, then don't tap off the excess. You wanna leave the excess on the brush and blend it into the skin. This is interesting. I've never used this color, but it's coming off a little purple and this brush is clean. Okay, so I'm just gonna pat it into the crease. And this is just gonna be our transition shade. You're just gonna see this essentially in the background and it's gonna be pretty much covered up, but I just wanna lay this down first because it's really important to work in layers, especially when you're doing your makeup. You know, a lot of the times we see looks and it's like a blown out yellow or a blown out blue or blown out any color and people just automatically think like, let me go ahead and grab this blue shade and run it all over my eyes. No, you need to work in layers. You need to like create a gradient, if that makes any sense. I really hope that it does, but you're about to see what I'm talking about, so pay attention. I'm gonna take that clean fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend this out. Now, these shadows blend a lot. So you can see the difference from one I blended and one I not blended. This one is a lot more stark and pigmented than this one, but they blend out really, really beautifully. This painterly paint pot, I think, is making the skin on my eyes like a little dry, but it is gripping the shade really, really nicely. So I do like that so far. And I also think I should bring you guys in a little bit closer. No joke. And I'm going to use a flat brush. I had this all over the lid. Oh, wow. That is so nice. It's just like the pigment in this palette is like crazy. And I'm just keeping this to the lid and I'm kind of just patting it and stamping it. And hers is like so, so yellow. Maybe I need to dampen this brush, but let's go ahead and do what we do to one eye to the other eye. And I'm not tapping off the excess, but we will blend this out. So if it looks a little patchy or a little too powdery, you know, like when your lid, it looks like you're wearing too much eyeshadow. Don't worry about it. We're going to go and blend it out. I'm going to spray my brush, get that a little bit damp. And I'm going to go back in and just see if this makes the orange pack more of a punch. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm gonna pack it on with my finger. This is like more yellow. I feel like the brush makes it a little bit, lean a little bit more orange. Does that make sense? See the difference? This is a lot more yellow than this one. I'm gonna take a little bit more and now I'm gonna start bringing this into my crease. So just bringing it up a little bit more. Hope you can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of like tilting my head back and patting medium fluffy brush, a little bit bigger than the one we used last time. I'm gonna go into no joke. I'm not gonna tap off the excess and I'm just gonna run this over that crease shade that we initially went in with. We're just going over the crease with this. And I'm gonna go ahead and poke it into the crease and I'm just building up this shade. Hers looks so yellow. I'm not sure how she got hers to be so yellow. Going in with that clean fluffy brush, I'm just gonna whisk this over the entire lid just to like blend it all out and make it look a little bit more blown out. I'm gonna take my angled brush part on. I'm just gonna start stamping this on my lid like I would an eyeliner. Oh wow, that's really, really pigmented. And then I'm gonna start winging it out and I'm not tapping off the excess. And she has like a really wide wing, like it kind of comes up from the bottom and meets. So I'm gonna just make that wing maybe a little bit 
thicker than I would normally. <laughs> Using that same brush, I'm just gonna like stamp off that shade. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Living My Best and I'm gonna keep that a little bit tighter to the lash line. I just want this to be like a little bit more red. I'm loving this combo, honestly. I'm gonna hop into I'm In It and I'm just gonna put this on the brow bone. And then I'm gonna use that same brush and then I'm gonna hop into the shade Certified. And then I'm gonna put that right over top just to like tame that sparkle down. Cause hers looks sparkly, but also kind of matte and just blend this out a little bit. I'm like barely pressing just to make that look a little bit more blended out. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hop off camera, I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face, and then we'll meet back here to continue on to the lower lash line, because I feel like I need concealer and everything, because we need to do the lower lash line, we need to do eyeliner, mascara, lashes, and I just, I need the rest of my face. So give me one second, and I will be right back. Love handles. I'm gonna take that on my medium fluffy brush. I'm gonna go underneath with love handles and I'm not going to bring it into my inner corner. I'm just gonna leave it out like that. And I'm tapping off the excess now because I did the rest of my face and I don't want fallout to ruin my foundation. And then I'm gonna go in with that fluffy brush and just blend it out. And I am trying to avoid that wing. Okay, there's no yellow on her lower lash line. So I'm gonna hop into Heart On with that same brush. And I'm just gonna smoke out the lower lash line. Taking that clean fluffy brush, blending that out. I am going to take a pencil brush, Temptress, the black, and I'm just gonna tap this along the lash line just to give a little bit of depth underneath. See how much more depth that has than this eye now? And I'm just kind of like patting it and just blending that out. I'm gonna go back in with my angled brush. Let's take a dance party. Just continue. See how I just followed along that wing? I'm gonna continue to bring this underneath my entire eye. So I'm kind of creating a wing underneath my eye. This is such a pretty color, I love this. This might be my favorite color in the palette. When I get to the waterline, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit. Like that. Okay, I don't know. I'm just gonna try it. I feel like her lash line is not very closed, so I kinda wanna keep my lash line a little bit open, and I'm gonna wing this out and make it a little bit longer on that edge. Same thing on the other side. I'm just following along that wing and then bringing the wing underneath. Okay, I'm gonna take my fluffy brush, the smaller one, and I'm gonna smoke this out a little bit. Yes, yes, yes. All types of yes. And I'm gonna extend this one like I extended the other one. Wow, guys, love this. Oh my God, okay. Let's hop into I'm In It. I'm gonna take that with a pencil brush. Okay, now is she wearing black liner or brown liner? That is the question. I think she's wearing brown. So I'm gonna go in with my Stila Smudge Kajal in Espresso, inner and upper lash line waterline. I do that all the time. And she brings it in. So I'm gonna bring it into the inner corner and just frame love that. See how much more dramatic this is now? Oh my god, yes. 
Oh, <gasps> damn it. Okay, it's fine. That's what I get for rushing. And she has a lot more orange in her inner crease right here. So I'm just going to throw on a little bit more. I'm going to take it on that fluffy brush. And I'm just going to bring it like that. And I'm just going to go over that. Yeah, that's perfect. So pretty. And I think I'm going to take a touch of feeling myself. Like a touch. I literally dabbed it. And I'm just going to put it in here as well. Because it looks a little orange to me now. I'm going to take, I'm in it. Let's take a fluffy brush. I'm going to take a fluffy pencil brush. I'm in it. And I'm just going to. Put a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna hop off camera, throw on some lashes, and we will meet right back here to look at the final finished makeup look. I have to say, again, the second time that I'm recreating one of Jacqueline's campaign looks, I was really nervous. I did not think that this was gonna go as planned, but it came out really nice. It doesn't look exact, but I think it looks pretty good. Again, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about this palette. If there's anything on my face that I did not show you, it will be listed down below. I did try to do a similar lip to Jaclyn. I will list the lip products that I use down there. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. And again, if you are not yet subscribed, subscribe, click the bell button. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that I lived up to Jaclyn and Lipstick Nick's talent. I'm happy, I'm happy. It's different, it's cool. I think I'm gonna try and do this like double liner more often. I just, and I like like this, oh God, I almost just spilled my coffee everywhere. I really like this inner corner like drag down. It really makes my eyes look bigger. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and you would like to see more videos like it. I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.